20th story from the Gateless Gate from the book Zen Fresh Zen Boots written by Paul Tripp's Enlightened Man. Why does the Enlightened Man not stand on his feet and explain himself? The moment you stand stagnant water stinks, he knows he stands, he becomes a preacher. You become a preacher, you become preachers. Then we ask the students when they are going for their studies, first make sure that you have the flow. You know, do the nostril blow. When you do the nostril blow out, you have cleansed your pipelines. And you, I can start observing the question and the answer. You have the hearing power that what the teacher has said, you start examining. And then when you start examining, you can see the brain cells start opening. And cells lying idle starts waking up. And for every question, you have a 10,000 interpretation answers. Not one answer. You don't frighten of the answer. Answer flows of its own. It strikes with your thinking. Why does enlightenment not stand on his feet and explain himself? He cannot. Because students are taught to sit in the chair. And Dr. Dean Ornish, the reversal heart disease cardiologist from the White House, Obama and Bill Clinton said, Sitting in one place for more than one hour is the cause of all the diseases when the heart attack. So students are asked to sit for a long time. Rakhon schools, no, no, no. Every four, four, 40 minutes children are asked to get up and bounce and stretch your hands. Body becomes straight and then they, they grow taller and then they do the nostril bloat, stomach pumpings. And of course, we do the Oh, dang, 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 This ha helps to open up the formations inside, open up the parts, and then of course the clap is very good. So we go with this cha 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 in the chair, the child will walk for every one hour. The child intends to sit for 10 minutes, walking and reading louder makes him to sweat and he drinks water and he becomes healthy. Once he's healthy, you do not have to worry about the answers. Why does enlightenment not stand on his feet and explain himself? There's no need to explain when you're conscious. Why should I explain? Your way makes me people to observe you because so much of hard labor when the big brothers are watching when there is a very good worker and he's a great karma yogi who will not pick up the karma yogi yes and who will not pick up health the health will always be stronger inside and he also said it is not necessary for speech to come from the tongue speech doesn't come from the tongue it comes from the way you do your things, explaining without explaining. And that comes only when you practice your Samskriti. And the Samskriti is when morning when you get up, you brush your teeth, take the fingers to brush the gums, so there won't be gum bleeding, no mouth smell, your dental problems will be solved, you become very strong. Then you rinse your mouth 18 times, so you will not get cold, no cough, no fever. And then you do the nostril blood, smoke pumping. So you look at this. Surya, if the sun is rising early morning, early birds catches the best prey. You clean up the house. You bend and clean. You bend. So you get the spinal bend. You get the spinal. The bow. Yes, the, the namaskar. The elders have asked you to bow in front of the elders or to the friend of God and to do shashtanga namaskar. So that you get your exercises. Not because they wanted your respect. They want to make sure you are connected to your body and you need to have a skeletal muscle. Once you do that, you would have sunrises and you look at the sun and you do Surya Namaskar because you already done the bhajan. You cleansed the path of your speech also. Speech doesn't have to come from the tongue. Once you're done your bhajan, your song early morning, the Carnatic music, Hindustan music, what a beautiful house. The house has been charged. Eliminated, energized, it has become magnetic force. Once it becomes magnetic, you don't have to explain to people, people and the birds, they get attracted to this beautiful body. Then you will find there's no time. Idle mind is a devil's workshop that will never come to you because your body is shining. 
That's what it says. It is not necessary for speech to come from the tongue. Enlightened man, Shogun asked, why does the enlightened man not stand on his feet and explain himself? And he also said, it is not necessary for speech to come from the tongue because when you do your, before you start your studies, you do your anuloma viloma, inhale. Four, retention is 16 times, 16 times, that is four into four times. You hold your breath and then you release two times, four into two, eight times. Again from the right, you take four, then you have retention into four, 16 times you hold your breath with the breathing in and breathing out. Then you exhale it. But every student, every child does this one. Then for every answer, there, there every question, there is an answer. Answer flows of its own. Because the mind knows to observe. When you don't do this one, you cannot take any tablet. You read a thousand times also. You intend to forget. Here, the, it, every cell in the brain, it gets imprinted in every cell of your brain. When you do this pranayama, and when time comes, it strikes without thinking, answers flows without thinking.